Hello, family. It's Julie Zipper, and it's 2011. It's a new year. Let's upload a new level of consciousness together. Join me for my class, The 40-Day Meditation Journey. And for all the details, go to the website, 40daymeditation.com. I'll see you there. Hello, so healers. Welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. And thank God it is Friday, huh? It's been a heavy week. Solar eclipse, moon and Capricorn. Ugh. Well, I have good news. Things are going to lighten up in a good way. The moon starts off in Aquarius, so you'll start off the day kind of heavy with reality and all the needs of reality and the responsibilities of reality. But as the day progresses, that Friday fever is going to kind of settle in. And the moon moves into Pisces, which will shift your emotions to relationships. So you're going to be super sentimental this weekend. Now, Virgo, don't go to the past with this, okay? Don't go to the past. Please don't go to the past. The moon in Pisces is going to make you emotionally focused on relationships and what you want. And the universe wants you to have what you want. Jupiter and Uranus are in this space to help you innovate and expand relationship needs, all right? But you're Virgo, so you tend to hold on to the past and I'm really recommending you don't do that because it's not going to get you to the future. Comprende? All right. But if you are in a relationship, this is an excellent weekend to spend time with that person. And if you're not in a relationship, this is an excellent time to tell God universe through light casting and emotional need, this is what I want. Bring it now. Zip into the sun. Your heart's desire is the big topic of the month. We're in chapter two of Sun in Capricorn. And simultaneously... Today, Saturn rules the day. Now, Saturn is the decision engine. This is our ability to make clear, articulate decisions, and decisions lead to change, okay? It's time to decide, what does your heart want? Now, you may not know exactly what your heart wants, but you should by now, now know what your heart doesn't want, all right? And through the weekend, I encourage you to be very clear on what you don't want, especially as it relates to relationships, okay? So, if you are focused on someone from the past, and they didn't treat you correctly, or they're nowhere to be found right now, you don't want them. Your heart doesn't want them. Not if they're not showing up, or not if they're not treating you the way you want them to treat you. Be clear on what you don't want, okay? That's easier sometimes than what you do. So be clear on what you don't want, be clear on what your heart doesn't want, and let's create the space starting next Monday for manifesting what you do, Virgo. And Venus! Venus has hopped the border now into Sagittarius. That means that for the next month or so, Excellent time to create and heal family, home, and self-nurturing issues. Great time to redecorate the house. Great time to heal from some childhood wound. Great time to heal from some family situation. If you've been estranged from a family member, you've been wondering if you should reach out to them or not, this is a great time to do it. Venus only comes in this space once a year. Now, it's twice this time because they're retrograded, but this is an excellent time to do some healing in this space, especially as it relates to self-nurturing. This is the best month of the year to pamper yourself. Just go blow all the money. Who cares? Charge it. Who cares? It's you we're talking about, right? Venus will be here for almost a month. All right, and it's Friday. We've got an episode of Astro Gossip going live today with DJ David Palmer and myself. We'll be talking about 20 heaven spotlighting some celebrities and some headlines and what's going on. And, of course, you've always got our funny selves and our not-bad-looking mugs. David and I are live everywhere at Soul Garden Streams. Don't miss us. All right, Virgo, you have a good sentimental weekend. We come back on Monday. We're going to start on what your heart truly desires. Until then, live love be. So good.